Let us diagnose another important case which I encounter in my clinics about two years back. The patient has history of recurrent seizures and mental retardation. There are multiple acne nodular lesions on the face, uh, predominantly involving the cheek, nose, and do not spare the nasolabial pole. These are angiofibroma, sebaceous adenoma. On the abdomen, there were multiple hypomelanotic spots were present these are elliptical in shape these are called which is somewhat leaf like which is called ash leaf spots uh, on the back there was tumor like growth most likely large fibroma and there were multiple skin tags uh, based on these findings, my top differential was tuberous sclerosis, so I searched for other clue as well. And I found another lesion on the back. The, these are irregular, slightly raised, rubbed, uh, flesh-colored patch, which are called shagreen patch. So, facial adenoma, ash leaf spot, and uh, facial adenoma, ash leaf, shagreen patch, I ordered CT scan part to confirm the tuberous sclerosis. And the CT scan showed cortical subcortical tuber and subependymal nodules which is consistent with the finding of tuberous sclerosis so this was a patient which remained undiagnosed for the last 20 years and i took a detailed history and examination and then order a proper relevant investigation and i reached through the diagnosis so the key is good history good examination and relevant labs